Yo guys, this is your boy Apex from Amsterdam, and uh, it's good that you're watching. Today I'm going to go into something that uh, I think you guys also need to know. Uh, it's, it's important. I mean, the whole thing about how I approach the companion job is just being a successful guy, getting your stuff on track, being able to take good care of yourself, getting your relationships on track, how you want it to go, and having a good future perspective, because that's, in my opinion... Uh, one of the keys to success and even if you will get a client or you will not get a client you won't give any fuck about it because you're not depending on them it's you doing them a favor they got an opportunity to spend time with you and uh, it's gonna take it's gonna cost them some cash so it's it's something you have to build up it's something you have to grow towards and I think it's a great thing you want to grow to as any adult male I mean it's a great perspective so let's share some truths about this woman. Let's share some truths about this woman. You know, this woman actually, um, they're looking for this sidekick kind of guy. Right? You see all these women and they, you, you might think like, oh, they need me. I'm a guy. Uh, I, can, I can give them good sex. And they're, they're longing for my dick. And uh, whatever you might think. But it's not true. It's not true. I mean, if they, they, I can tell you a lot of stuff a woman want and that's what they don't want. And what I want to go into today is the is the, is, the, is the idea that we really have to believe is one of these things that you won't barely believe but it's true what they actually want what they actually want from a guy because that's it it's actually a guy like you might have seen these Disney movies or all this you know romantic bullshit when you were young where there's this prince this special guy and he was like brave enough to save this woman this princess and she's looking forward to specifically this guy uh, in the real world it's not like she's looking for the specific guy she's looking for a guy doing specifically what she wants so it's it's it's, it's a whole different story you could make a romantic story about that and that's the reason why i think that a lot of relationships fail and the sex gets boring and people get demotivated in their personal lives because there's totally no enjoyment because these women are just you know, they're not doing any compensation on that. And I mean, if you're not able to turn that around in your favor, you're going to be stuck with a, with a woman that, that is like dominating your life. And, and you're going to, you're just going to walk behind her every place she goes because she, otherwise you might lose on the last pussy. But it's not the last pussy on earth. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. It's not the last pussy on earth, but in that world. And I mean, these women, they, you know, they're good in isolating guys. So if once you got one girl, all these other women are going to isolate you. And they're going to make you even more depending on sex. And you're going to chase the one who is the, <laughs> the closest to get, giving you sex. It's like insane. It's like you have to quit this. It's crazy. You're going to go insane. Uh, I've lost a lot of guys, a lot of friends. And I think that's also the reason why I'm going to keep up this channel. Um, even though the app, the system is also helping you to do this. But it's a way bigger system than that. Uh, for me, it was a great experience being a male companion. And, uh, but you know, it's, it's an experience. You have to go through it. It's not like going to be companion for the rest. I got, I, I don't got time for that. Even if I got paid, I wouldn't get time. It's not about, it's, there's some point that it's not about the money anymore. Like even if they will pay you 500 bucks, it's not about the money anymore. You know, you got the experience and you don't need the money. So you're not going to do it anymore, but it's, it's a great time. It's, I mean, I had a great time. Back to what we're talking about. Back to what we were talking about. So, <laughs> these women actually are looking specifically for this guy who is going to do exactly what they want because they're looking for this this lifetime sidekick and they call it a, a relationship. They call it, a, you know, something you can build on. Yeah, you, well, it's something you can build on, but it has to be specifically how they want it. I mean, there's a lot of women who are just willing to adapt and change. Honestly, if I'm going to be honest, I didn't have too much problems with, with women who, who were flexible. You know, they were always like willing to say like at some point, oh yeah, I wouldn't really appreciate if you have multiple girlfriends or they they don't want it or some say I don't I don't want to hear about it or they say well I could live with it they do, they wouldn't know about it if you would ask me in advance or you know other questions well that was the most important question uh, but you know most of the time they have the rules about monogamy and, and there is even women who will say like well I want to have a house with you or they will say I, I want to get married I, couldn't, I, I haven't heard any of that shit before but I mean this woman could like like that they it's like they put it on like like a rule like this needs to happen without two years others and then you will say like well and else what and they're like 
Okay, I'll, I'll, you know, tonight I'm feeling like I got a headache, so I'll just start going to bed. They're gonna like, they're gonna like put pressure on you. And I mean, that's that's all in the game. I mean, they have their own ideas. Like we want to be successful, they want to be successful in relationships. So that's the game they play. You really have to be competitive in this game if you want to stand a chance. And a lot of guys, they just give up. They say like, I'm not gonna play this game with them. I'm just gonna play computer games, and they're gonna be totally ruled by this woman. And some once in a while they get enough sex because of course, because this woman she knows like. He needs to go to work. He needs to be able to be. He needs to function, right? So I need to give him some sex once in a while because if he doesn't function, I will lose my income. Now I'm not saying they're waiting for your income. I will lose his support, or I will lose that he's being a dad for my kids. They need this certainty. They need this security. They need the guy who you know who is in their life because their family and friends expect it. It's a lot of stuff. It's not just one thing. You know, they think that you're special. It's you're taking a place in their life, and they just want simply to you to fill up. So they're looking ultimately looking for this guy who can be the ultimate sidekick. <laughs> that's what I. That's that's my opinion about stuff. Really, I mean, when you're young, they might be you know, being romantic about it. And that's why it's all promiscuous, because everything looks good and they just want to enjoy. But in the meantime, you have to carry all their goods. You have to do everything they say. You have to adapt. You have to give up your friends. They're starting to give commands. They're trying to learn, get the grip. How much can I get done with this guy in return for being with him or return for having sex with him? In the end, they're trying to get the most out of it. And the most out of it is this sidekick kind of guy who looks average. Everybody likes the guy. And he is carrying this woman on his hands and he is self, he's walking on his bare feet. Yeah, look what I'm saying. And women are just on their high heels and you're carrying them uh, through life, through storms, through shit, through swamps, through bad traffic. You're carrying all the time. If they say, put me down, I need a snack, they need to trust you. So you need to be able to, they need to be able to trust you. Like that's why they need to trust you. Like you need to immediately Follow up the command. Put me down. Oh yes, of course. I forgot to put you down, of course. So you need, that's why they put the testing in, right? With the sex, like, if you're gonna be like doing crazy stuff, saying crazy stuff, they must have, oh, not, not, don't be smart on me, you know? Tonight, no sex, so they're trying to get you in the right angle. So they're not like, okay, when I'm in a public space, he will, Listen to my commands. I don't have to yell at him. I don't have to pressure him with sex. When you're with friends, I don't have to put pressure on him. He's going to listen. They're trying to domesticate your ass. right? That's the ultimate sidekick who doesn't ask any questions. Who's just like, I'm, I'm going to serve you because you're a woman. And that's the, that's the point. What is this whole argument building on? Because they're a, because they're a woman. Well, in my opinion, they need a guy to even get pregnant. And now they could say, yeah, we can get, well, even if you get semen from, from, a, from a whatever, a guy needs to put in there. Right? So they, but it's all this independence. And I stimulate woman, woman. I want women to be independent. But I also want men to be independent. I want everybody to be independent, self-sufficient, not having to depend on the system having their own ground, having their own property, having sufficient money to educate and study. That's what I want for everybody. Trust me on that one. Everybody on this whole planet. But we have regulation around here for money, for citizens, for war, for the municipality to, to, to moderate all these civilians, yeah, to keep order. It's the public demand. And the public demand doesn't mean it's going to dictate your life or her life. So you have to make your own agenda on the bigger scale for your own success, but also on this, on this, in your personal life, woman, how you're going to set up these agreements, right, when it comes to which one has more priority. Is it the same? Do I have to compensate on my priorities? Because I'm not going to be your sidekick for the rest of your life. I also have dreams. I also want to have people carrying me around. I also want people bringing me money. You know, so you have to really think this through. Why you sacrifice so much? Because she's a woman and she could have big tits, big ass, everything. But listen up, guys, and that's what I can tell you from experience. There is not a woman 
who can satisfy you for the rest of your life. I had everything. Right. And they all want a relationship in the end. The, the point is, the moment you start in a relationship, even if she's really attractive or not, the, the, what will gonna bother you the most is that your freedom is being taken away. That you are not able to do whatever you want. That you're not able to have sex with another woman. That you're not able to say, I'm not going to carry you today without any consequences. That you're able to say, you're going to cook me a meal, and I'm not going to cook you meals every day. You're going to bring me money, and I'm not going to bring you money every day. So that's what I'm trying to say, right? They're putting you up with more effort, with more jobs to do, with more things you need to solve for them, and you still have to carry them around, because that was the initial deal. And they're looking for this guy who is the simplest guy who's going to say yes all the time, who, did, who didn't think it through on the long term. It's like, yes, I'm just going to say yes now because I just, want, I, just don't want her to, I just don't want to disappoint her because, you know, otherwise I'll be disappointed with not having sex. And they don't have the courage to stand up against this force and they will be domesticated and they will be, somehow be socially dominated. And it's, and, and it's, it's, their, it's their thing. I don't. It's fine. I mean, I mean, that's. I'm just. I'm just telling you what I think about it. Don't be this everlasting sidekick in a deal ever, never. Even though a woman want it, yeah. And that's why they look for specific guys. So if you think I'm gonna buy me a, a, a big car, I'm gonna get me a lot of money, I'm gonna do whatever. <laughs> Listen. You can have all this stuff, but if it's not available for them and you're not giving it to them to support it in their lives. Look, if you have a big car, you say you can have it and you can use it whenever you want to. That's a different story. They're like, okay. Or you got multiple houses. Yeah, you can live in the house. And they're like, seriously? Yeah, but if I come over, I will just I will fuck you one, one, once, once a week. And you can do whatever. You can make great deals. But if you think you got... A lot of stuff, and it's not available for them. <laughs> it's useless. They're gonna think he's he's having all this stuff, but he's just using it for himself. He's just he's just so selfish. He he doesn't care about me, you know. So you you will still get in a relationship game with them, making some kind of relationship trade, and they're gonna seek some certainty on long term that you want that you're gonna stick with them. And if I'm gonna look for guys. <laughs> That they want they have to stick with them. Seriously? And you're not giving them this property and this cash and all that stuff. You really you you really be better at this game than that. You'd be good at sex. You'd be good in keeping them low, keeping them short, getting them different ideas in their minds that they're not to, to fool of themselves, even if they're pretty as fuck. You need to get them to a point like, listen, you can have big tits, but for me they're this small. You know, you just do what I say. You need to get them to this point where he, where they're going to worry about you instead of you worrying about them. That's where you want to get them. If you're not going to get them at that stage, you're going to be worrying for the rest of your life. Not worrying about them, but also worrying about how I'm going to get the cash that they want. You know, how I'm going to fit in all the time with all the expectations. They want me to do this. They don't want me to do that. I'm doing everything wrong. You're going to be having a hard time doing your work because you're not focused. Then you're going to get issues with having sex because they're going to get you issues. And then you're going to get hurt. You're going to get stomach aches. You're going to get pain in your balls. Other women are going to decline your request because you already got a girlfriend. You're going to be cock blocked. And they know how to play the game. So I'm trying to say, guys, you really understand now that these women are not specifically looking for you. So if you think like, yeah, look, look, look at how I shaved or whatever I did or you know what I mean? If you make money with it, but <laughs> they could say, I, I like it. They could say in the magazine, I like it. But they say bullshit. I mean, what they actually care about is what are you going to do for them? They think, like, what is the mustache going to bring me? What are they going to do to me? <laughs> Seriously, you know, like, what? That's all they are. And they might be excited by stuff. Like, yes, I like chest hair. They're trying to find stuff that triggers this kind of guys who fit the profile. Like when they got chest hair, they're trying to be a bit alpha, they're a bit bulky, but in the end, they listen. Yeah. And they come, right? They bring the food and they clean up the house. They sit on the couch and wait. And if I say we're going to have sex, they're still like, yes, but it's up to you. I will not push you. 
That's what I want. Domestic. And then I talk with the girlfriend. Look at how, how behaved my friend is. I got him all where I want. Right? And I'm going to tell you another secret, boys. If that's the situation, you're going to have bad sex. They're not going to get even satisfied by the sex because it's just boring as fuck. Because you don't got the rules to make it your own game. They have everything planned out. And, th and that's the thing they don't get excited from. If they plan out everything, they're like, oh, so boring. They're going to start complaining how boring life it is. And you have to make life more exciting. Yeah, but if you are d deciding the rules, it's already set what is possible and what is not possible. I don't even know if I can just touch your tits without asking, you know? So you cannot bend the rules. You cannot really surprise her. Only the things that she is expecting because you're just scared. You're not going to fulfill this woman. You need to be this tough, rough guy and not being the guy who is the ultimate sidekick, even though they deeply want it. I don't know. It's... Maybe it's true. Maybe they want a sidekick. I don't give a fuck. But I know that if you are doing the other way around, these women, they change their minds. They're not like, I need this sidekick. They're like, I want to be loved by you. I want, they're not saying like, I want to be your, yeah, I want to be your sidekick in your world. Yeah, and that's going to change. It's, maybe it's just a game between man and woman doesn't necessarily, it's like, oh, a woman wants a man. Maybe a man wants a woman to be her sidekick. So I don't give a fuck. But you don't want to be their sidekick. Let's end it with that. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. Keep on watching the channel. Don't forget to sign up at the Private Man channel, uh, Private Man website. And uh, next year, I will go through all the applications. Definitely being busy with Pet Boy, being busy with the app that, you know, you guys, if you follow, you can, you if you sign up, who had the consultation, you will be the first and only one to use this. It's insane. It's better than Tinder and everything else together. And you will crush women and you will even make money if you're doing a good job. So be focused. I know it's a hard time with the Corona, but I know as well that after this Corona pandemic, people want to meet up, people want to catch up and we, people want to, I mean, men want to have a lot of sex. So uh, let's go. And hopefully this can be of assistance. We have to invest, boys. If you do not invest now, you will not reap the fruits in the future. If you're going to spend your money now on porn and short-term shit, you will keep doing that. If you want to have a lot of sex, a lot of them, start investing today. Start signing up. Start doing workouts. Start watching my videos. Start reading books. Start studying. Start making yourself successful. Start chasing your dreams. Not chasing them, only building them. Okay, guys. Hope I had said enough. And looking forward to see you guys next time. Take care.